Hey folks, Jay here. Welcome back to the homestead. We're gonna go back to that tree job that's not too far from us, and we are gonna buck up that pine, uh, that spruce. That stuff is burning extremely hot, extremely well. So I don't want to leave it there because it's good boiler wood. So, anyways, last video kind of sucked. Um, chain was cutting crooked. Ah, I know. Uh, I, a lot of you left comments about the rakers. I understand. I understand the physics behind a chainsaw. It's just I hit something and I just gave it a quick sharpening and i really should have took the time to put on the bench and do a proper sharpening but anyways i bought a brand new chain so let's go see if that thing hogs through some wood um i don't have my gopro gopro is down right now i cracked the back screen making a video it's perks of the job i guess or uh what is it um yeah i don't know you know what i'm trying to say so anyways enough ramble jamble ambling let's see you guys we'll see you guys over there we're gonna head out right now hook the splitter up and off we go
heavy Chevy is loaded with another load of that wood. And that tree is all gone. We are just left with the limbs. I got to talk to the homeowner. I think the best thing would just be a bonfire. So uh, he's already got some piles going, as you can see. Wouldn't hurt to throw a tarp over it, get a nice hot bonfire and be done with it. My opinion. So let's go ahead and wrap up, head back right, to the folks, house. We're back. Let's show you what we got. Can I flip you guys around? I don't know if I can flip you guys around. So this is what we got here in the truck load. This is our um, second load of the big tree. This is the green stuff. This is the stuff that's not ready. Let me show you guys. Um, let me show you guys our pile here. Sorry for the rough video. We're on the cell phone today, but this is our pile of the two dead trees still kicking away. Again, really, really good stuff. Um, can't complain at all. This stuff is way drier than what's in the truck right now. So let's go ahead and show you the trailer. And yeah, we got a lot of wood right, here. Folks, let's hop up for you. One, two, three, here we go. So again, this is eight foot bed, four foot sides. This is this can hold a cord of wood. Obviously this is loosely thrown. So I'm gonna go ahead and say probably two thirds of a cord. Doesn't matter, it is boiler wood. And then we have what's over in that trailer there. So let's okay, go so over here. This is our 16 foot trailer. This is the first round of the single splits boiler wood. I threw it all in the trailer off the truck because I didn't want to move it twice. So once I kind of rearrange and figure out where the hell I'm going to put this wood, I can at least take the back off, back the trailer up and uh, make it work that way. So yeah. You folks today, I just wanted to say that echo with that brand new Oregon EXL chain, that's how a saw should cut. I struggled last video. A lot of you said it was your cutters. I knew it was my cutters. I hit something huge in the tree. I just, I just gave it an edge. I really should have did it correctly. I've been sharpening saws for a year. I know how to do it. I just, I, I rushed it. Um, the 257 uh, was good in this wood, but the, again, this is big wood for that saw with that size bar on it. So the uh, 590 is now back up and running. And yeah, needless to say, it made some hay today. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think. Now I have a dilemma. I need to figure out where the hell I'm gonna put all this wood. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think. God bless. Like I always say, we will see you guys out in the woods.